Yeah. So Jake plays a lot of Roblox. What do you like to play? Roblox. Because you don't want them to know that you opened up the ball. They're getting so close. You can hear it. You can literally hear it. Hey guys, I thought I would give you an update on our self-isolation. It is currently actually April 1st, start of spring break for us, April Fool's Day. No pranks are really being pulled around the house, but Jordan actually posted a prank video on Just Jordan 33, which you could check out, which was super funny. She pulled some pranks on me, but on actual April 1st, we haven't really done any pranks. <laughs> it's kind of been weird. It's the start of our spring break, so the kids are now currently on spring break. Audrey, however, and her boyfriend, Spencer, who's also staying with us in self-isolation, have school. <laughs> so they're the only two that are doing school. Jordan, Jake, and Ty are at home, spring break, a little bit of free time. Jordan's actually been catching up on other homework that needed to get done so she can be ahead for next week when she goes back to school. And other than that, I mean, David's working on a massive puzzle. And I've thought about starting a book or maybe a new Netflix series, but I need a show to watch. I don't know what to watch. So my thoughts on the self-isolation, anyway, going back to that, I feel like it's kind of like surreal, kind of not real, it seems weird, because when you're at home and you look out, everything seems kind of normal, but then when you start reading the news, it's like hard to imagine. It's kind of unbelievable everything that's happening, and. We're just trying to stay home and not go out unless needed. We try to get out on the weekends if the weather's nice and go for a quick walk where no other people are. So we maintain our self-isolation. Um, and then if we have to do a grocery run, we try to cut that down to like once a week or once every other week. Going kind of good. It just seems like one week is actually a month long. It's kind of... A, I don't know why, it's not like we have changed a lot of our habits. It's just the fact that we know we need to stay home and now we wanna go out. <laughs> I don't know, what else is new? Do you, Jordan, do you have any other new uh, stuff? Oh, yeah, actually, maybe. Jordan has a lot of crazy new stuff. What did you find out about your school? Oh, so we were, okay, I'm playing Sims right now. <laughs> but nice. because it's spring break, but usually I'm working on school a majority of the day. But our school was supposed to be online school for only two weeks, but now it's postponed until so, my birthday, May 1st. Yeah, but so. I think it's gonna go till June. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping. I have no idea. Also, my prom got canceled. I couldn't yeah. think of any other news. Prom, that's a big one. Jordan's prom got canceled. She got a dress and everything. I know, I was so excited because I literally bought everything. I bought the dress and everything. And her shoes just arrived right when they she got the email saying that prom's canceled, yeah. which we kind of guessed that it was going to be canceled, but she already had her dress by that time. Yeah. Luckily, I guess it's a it's a pretty dress that she can wear to other events, maybe, hopefully. Cross our fingers. <laughs> but you can check out more about Jordan's prom updates on Jordan Mae Williams because she's posting updates there. It's just so weird. Now we're waiting to see if Jordan's gonna graduate. I don't know what she'll do for graduation if they do it, if they'll postpone it. I don't know how long, can, I mean, will she graduate with the next class? So she'll graduate in 21? Because who knows how long this is going to go on. So her senior year has been pretty crazy for her, which now makes it hard to go into college because not knowing what fall's going to bring, do you go to college? Do you wait? <laughs> I don't know. She has, I mean, it was hard enough for her to decide in the first place, and yeah. now it's really, really hard. Life decisions are very hard. Ah. And so, Jordan. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, she has a lot trying to figure out. And she has a lot of homework because she's taken some college classes now. Luckily, I don't have them for hard. spring break. I already finished all my homework for spring break. Yeah. But. On a typical day, I have a lot, which is kind of. You and Audrey have a lot of work. I find that they are it's working usually till dinner time, it's, and it's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> it's it really feels hard. like it's more than normal, but I guess it probably isn't because if you combine you like, get school and then you do homework after. Yeah, I, I guess like our homework and studying. It's afterwards. just hard because some teachers I hear around the world have eased up on their students while they're at home, and some teacher like some students don't have as much homework. I feel like my kids have a lot of homework. 
I've been playing Animal Crossing, the new one, because we grabbed that right before we started self-isolation. And I think that was the last thing we went out and bought. <laughs> and your prom dress. Yeah. Right? Because we had to pick it up. It You'd already way. bought the prom dress, but it was getting altered. Yeah. And so we grabbed the prom dress, we grabbed the game, and that Started was it. Started self-isolation. Yep. Okay, anyway, let's go check up on the boys and see what they've been up to for their first day of spring break. Kind of what they always do, actually. Um, this is their life. You'll always find them on. What are you guys doing? Watching YouTube? Yes. Um, what are you doing? Watching YouTube what games have you been playing? Um, Roblox, pretty much that's all because all the other servers on my other games are full and I'm like, eh. Yeah. Like, eh. yeah. So cool. Jake plays a lot of Roblox, what do you like to play? Roblox. Okay, so they play a lot of Roblox. So since Jordan's prom is getting canceled, actually David is going to ask Jordan to prom and we're going to have a little prom here so we'll decorate and make it all fancy and have a little place where they could take pictures and maybe set up a dinner just so that she doesn't fully miss her prom but it's gonna be just kind of funny a funny prom a little fake prom at home so I think David was going to ask Jordan out tonight so I'm going to let him show you what he's going to do I've got to ask out my date I can't just go downstairs and say hey Jordan do you want to go to see your prom I gotta do it like how how we do it normally, right? And so, back in 1990, I think it was, I asked out a girl to a, a dance, and I can't remember if it was a prom or just a formal or whatever it was, but this is how I did it. So I figured I'll do it the same way for Jordan, because luckily I had all this, the ingredients here at the house. So what you do is you take a bottle of sparkling cider, and you have to very carefully, and I've kind of done this off camera already, peel back the sticker, so you don't ruin it. And then you take the top off like this. Oh no, back in my day, it was a metal pick cap. Uh, oh, there's a metal cap underneath. Okay. <laughs> and then you take this off and then carefully, you have to take off the top here. Just enough to where you can get it off without ruining it. Cause you gotta put it back on because you don't want them to know that you've opened up the bottle. I'm gonna do this, I'll get the top off, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the top off. Now, because you don't wanna waste any of this, I'm going to put it into a cup here and I'll drink it probably throughout the day. You know what? I'm probably gonna need two cups. I might need three or four, so just in case. Now what you do is you put some gelatin in a mixing bowl. Okay, get all the ingredients here. So you get cold water, one cup of cold water, and that's been chilling. And then you put in four of these envelopes of gelatin. And then you kind of dissolve it. Because the idea here is, instead of it being a liquid now in the jar, it's going to be a whole bunch of jello. And I'm going to put a note in the bottom of the jar here to where she's got to somehow, and it's up to her, figure out how to get this open to find out what it says inside. All right, okay, now you mix in three cups of hot water. So let's take the hot, stir that in. I'll stir it in. Okay. And you have to have this completely dissolve. That way it turns into the gelatin form that you're looking for. So we're gonna give it a little stirry stirry here. All right, while that dissolves, I went ahead and I already wrote my note out. Will you go to the prom 2020 with me? Love, Dad. Oh. Okay, so I gotta put this in. Fold it up because this is gonna go in the bottle, right? So it doesn't get ruined. I think this worked last time. It must have worked because 
the girl responded back, so obviously she knew what it said. So we put it in a Ziploc baggie, and then I fold it up, because it's gotta make it into the neck of this bottle. And then we just stick it in. And hopefully it goes down to the bottom. There it is, down there in the bottom. Okay, now I gotta transfer the gelatin here into this bottle without spilling it all over the place. Jake is my cameraman. Say hi, Jake. All right. So what we gotta do is I got this funnel. Look at that, that's pretty fancy. And we're gonna try to pour this into here. Is that all right, Jordan? Hi, right, Jordan. Okay. <laughs> Jordan doesn't know I'm doing this. All right, now I'm gonna try to pour this in. One trick I found out is if you stick like a utensil on the on the side here, it'll help run down the utensil. And we want to fill up. Oh, perfect. Fill up the bottle. So now, the unexpecting eye would not know what's going on. Put this back on. Put this back on. Maybe stick this back on. Careful not to ruin the stickers. Okay, so the sticker's a little loose. I got some rubber cement glue because when this dries, it dries clear. Okay, put that back on like that. And voila, you cannot even tell this has been used. You can kind of see the bag inside, but that's about it. I gotta put this in the fridge for three hours to cool. When it's done, we'll go deliver the, the request for prom. Okay, it's been like, four or five hours, and I think it's ready. I'll pull it out here and see. <gasps> Perfect, look. I mean, if you look real close, let me pull it up here. If you look real close, you can see it, but from when you first look at it, you can't really tell. So what's gonna have to happen is a couple things. She is going to see this, and she'll probably see the note, but you can't get it out because it's gelatin. So this is gonna have to be Jordan trying to figure out how to get this message out of the bottle. Let's see what she does. Let's go deliver it to her. Let's see what she says. Deep time. I'm gonna ask Jordan to the prom. Yes. Okay, here we go. video I'm scared <laughs> I'm <giving> it to you <laughs> how do you open up one of these <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is this okay there's a note in here but this is all 
Oh my gosh, it's jello. It's literally jello. <gasps> That's not frozen, that's jello. How am I gonna get it out? I have an idea. Okay, I just Googled um, how to get, or how to melt jello, because I had an idea. I was gonna go break it on the slide walk and everything and see if I could like open it. But then I realized if I break it on the sidewalk, I'm gonna have to clean it all up. So I'm trying to melt it now. I think it's working, but I can't really tell, so. Hopefully, there's definitely a note in there, but it's too far down, so I can't really reach it. We gotta melt all the jello first. It's working! I'm excited to see what it is. I feel like it's probably a prank though, because it's April Fools. We're getting so close. You can hear it, you can literally hear it. Come on! Oh, I can reach it. What does this say? I got chopsticks. It's so close. Oh my gosh, it's right there. <gasps> oh, I actually got it. Wow, there's still jello chunks in there. Wait, what does this say? Is it a clue? Bandits? Let's see. Will you go to prom 2020 with me, Dad? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, how are we gonna do that? <laughs> now, are you going to go with me or <laughs> Mr. Boy? <laughs> no, I can't tell you. I got to come up with a creative response. I can't tell you. Oh, you never know. It's a mystery. <laughs> That's so sweet though. Thanks, Dad. Okay, it's been a while. I've been brainstorming some ideas and to respond back to Dad. And he's downstairs right now. But I came up with a super easy idea because the thing is, we can't leave, we're self-isolating obviously, so we can't leave to go to the store to get any supplies. So we gotta work with what we've got in the house. And I've been thinking, Dad has been obsessed with doing this puzzle right here. As you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty good, it's almost complete. So I figured on the back of like a few of these puzzle pieces, I'm gonna write, yes, I will go to prom, or something like that. And then have a few of them turned over so it doesn't look suspicious, but. Then he'll see it and be like, oh my gosh. Ta-da! Super duper easy. So then I just gotta flip a few of these over so it doesn't look so special. And then put this in the middle. That looks pretty good, I think. Ta-da! Okay, so then next time he goes to work on this puzzle, he'll be looking for his pieces and he'll see that. And then, oh my gosh! That's my response. Ta-da! I'm so excited. Yay! <laughs> Why is it turned over? Yes, I will go to prom with you. Oh! Ah. Uh, <laughs> Jordan! I didn't see, when did you do that? <laughs> Not that long ago. You messed up my pieces. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Yay! Okay, so we're officially. You finally going to prom. found it, I've been waiting. I know. I've literally been sitting on this couch waiting for you well, to come and get this corner right here, and I've got like all the pieces down here. I wasn't even looking over there, so. All right. So I've got to get prom all planned out. So this should be fun. Your senior prom here at our house with your dad. <laughs> it's gonna be memorable. It's gonna be huge, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be so great, everybody's gonna be talking about it. It's gonna be good. <laughs> all right, so that's it I think for today. We had lots of fun. It was really fun asking Jordan out. But these are some of the things that we're doing while we're here stuck at home. What are you guys doing while you're stuck at home? And real fast, before we leave, watch for Jordan's prom videos on Just Jordan 33 and Jordan May Williams. Self-promo, as Jordan would say. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.